Another year, another five-star Grand Prix. For those that are unaware, the five-star Grand Prix is an annual round-robin tournament held by Stardom. The participants are slipped into two blocks, the Red Stars and the Blue Stars. Every wrestler faces everyone in their block once. Winning a match achieves you two points, while losing awards you zero. A tie will give each wrestler participating one point. At the end of the tournament, the person from each block that has the most points moves on to the finals. The winner of that match gets a shot at the World of Stardom title, or the Red Belt. In the event of a tie in a block, if wrestler A beat wrestler B during the tournament, then wrestler A moves on to the finals instead of wrestler B. The whole tournament is about a month in length, stretching across two months, and is a time of excitement and dream matches in stardom. It is usually the only time we get to see some matchups. In stardom outside title matches, wrestlers rarely get singles matches, so this tournament is a great way to see your favorites face each other. Red Stars The red block has a lot of big names, but in my opinion the lesser of the two blocks in terms of overall power. Starting off with Mayu Iwatani, Stardom's icon. Everyone should know her at this point, as she is the last original member of Stardom, been with the company since its very beginning, and got screwed out of her red belt run with an injury. She could very well be looking for redemption. Next would be Stardom's true heart, Momo Watanabe, the 19-year-old ace and taking the wrestling world by storm. She seems to be overflowing with potential and the sky isn't the limit for this one. Lately, she has been having a bad streak, losing the white and tag belts. She failed to get the red belt and winning this tournament could be her way for a rematch. Another huge name next, the leader of Tokyo Cyber Squad, Hanakamura. She was not a part of the last year's 5 star as she had been out of the country when it started, but that doesn't mean she is not a hot prospect. This will be her second 5 star and she has improved tremendously since her first time in 2017. The Assault Commander comes next, Hazuki, has been in two other 5 star Grand Prix and always did alright. Last year she actually almost made it to the finals, only missing it because she tied with Mayu Iwatani, someone who beat her during the tournament. She made it very close last year and she wasn't even half as good as she is now having leveled up into the promotion's number one high-speed threat. Tam Nakano, the Violet Kung Fu Girl. Tam is the perfect example of averting expectations. One look at her and you would think she is a girly idol, but step in the ring with her and she will fight you to the death. After coming in last place in her block last year, and second to last the year before, Tam has achieved great things since then and is now a serious prospect to win the whole thing. Natsu Samire, Stardom's Pervert. Now a champion, and she will not let you forget it. Last year she was able to get wins over a pretty big name, Momo Watanabe. While nobody is expecting her to win it this year, we could see a huge upset in one of her matches this year. Another star's representative is next, Saki Kashima, was actually in the first ever tournament and unfortunately did very badly. Last year was her second attempt at the tournament, and she came in last of her block. Out of everyone, she is probably one of the least likely to win this year, but she has the ability to pull it off, so don't be too sure. This year, Stardom has so many people signed that they only have three foreigners in the entire tournament and only two non-regulars. Our next red star is one of those two. Her name is Avery, and she seems to be an Australian wrestler. This will be her first time in stardom, so she is an unknown value in this tournament. The other of the two is Casey Owens. While not technically new to stardom, she might as well be. She had a tour in 2016, so a lot has changed since then, making her another unknown value in this tournament. Blue Stars While the red block has the big names from the promotion, the blue block has the heavy hitters. This block is going to be the hardest for any one individual to get through. You'll see when you hear how stacked this block is. Starting off with the biggest hitter and hardest one to take down, Kagetsu. The leader of Ototai and just an amazing wrestler all around. Last year she was screwed out of going to the finals when Hanakamura betrayed her and caused her to lose her last match against Tam Nakano. 
she could be looking to get a chance to win back the red belt after losing it earlier this year. The current white belt holder and shining star, Arisa Hoshiki. This will be her first 5-star Grand Prix and could be looking to win both big singles tournaments this year after her win in the Cinderella tournament. She could also be looking to become the second person to ever hold the red and white belt at the same time. With her vicious strikes and agile movements, this is in the realm of possibility. Junkyo, Stardom's number one power wrestler. Jungle Kiona does not do tournaments very well, usually finishing somewhere in the middle and ultimately failing to achieve her goals. Since joining TCS, she has reimagined herself. She could very well surprise us all this year and get the win. This will be B Priestley's first time in the 5 star. Since her first time in stardom, she has improved tremendously, now holding the belt all those people are fighting for the chance to get. Since her winning the belt off Kagetsu, she has chosen her challengers. Her winning this tournament would allow her to continue doing that. She hasn't been pinned in stardom in a very long time, and this tournament could cause that to not be the case anymore. Andres Miyagi is going to be a wild card in this year's tournament. She has not faced many people in singles matches since joining stardom. This means we can't really properly place her on the card above or below anyone right now. It only took her a couple of months for her to be holding her first title in stardom after joining. She could very well be getting a singles belt soon. Konami got the privilege of submitting Kagetsu in last year's tournament. Konami has been on a roll ever since joining TCS. Unfortunately, Konami is very up and down when it comes to winning matches though. She tends to be very unpredictable, so if this year she really wants to win, she could very well be our winner. The big rookie and one of the finalists of last year's tournament. The person who made it all the way to the finals in her first year of wrestling ever. Her making it there was not a fluke, and she has the ability to back up the nickname. Could she possibly make it to the finals two years in a row? Maybe even winning the whole thing this year. Jamie Hayter, a regular in stardom for a foreigner. She proved herself in her white belt match against Momo Watanabe, proving that she can stand up with the top card of the promotion. Jamie could very well be a serious contender for this tournament. Natsuko Tora and the last of the Blue Stars block. Since being drafted into Orotai and turning her back on Junko Kiona, Natsuko has never really achieved any kind of singles greatness, always falling short. This year, with her new attitude and willingness to cheat, she might just be able to make it. Predictions This is the part of the video where I embarrass myself with trying to predict what will happen in this year's 5 star Grand Prix. I'm just going to go into some individual matches and the total outcome of the entire thing. My current number one pick for the entire tournament is Momo Watanabe. This is mostly bias and not based on too much reality though. I purely am just cheering for her to win. So of course if I'm choosing Momo to win the entire thing, then she is going to take the red block. So who's going to win the blue block? Right now I'm very split between Jungle Kiona and Andres Miyagi. If I had to choose one person, then I'm choosing Miyagi though. So my predictions for the finals of the 2019 5 star Grand Prix is Momo Watanabe vs Andres Miyagi. My reasoning for this outcome is not particularly kayfabe, I believe they are going to be putting the belt on Momo soon and her winning the tournament and then winning the belt in her rematch makes the most sense. Since last year's winner Mayu did not take the title, I find it hard to believe that this year's will be unsuccessful as well. I don't believe the title will go to anyone else besides Momo next. Momo being the chosen ace, from the moment she lost the white belt, everyone has been wondering when she is going to get the red belt, not if she is going to get it. I mostly just want Miyagi to get to the finals because I think she would be a good pick. I believe she is going to kill it in this year's tournament. She has been pretty dominant since her joining of stardom, so I think it's very possible for her to get some big wins over some big names. In the last three years, the amount of points that the winners of each block went on to the finals with are 3 9 points, 3 10 points, and 1 11 points. Since this year there are two more people than last year, this could not matter, but I believe that the winner of this year will most likely get anywhere from 9 to 11 points. Since I chose a Momo and Miyagi, then I should at least make even more of a fool of myself and predict who they will be 
tie and lose to. I'm going to lose all credibility. <laughs> With Momo, I believe she is going to get 11 points winning four matches with three ties. Her four wins are going to come from Natsu Samire, Avery, Casey Owens, and Tam Nakano, tying with Hazuki, Hanakamura, and Mayu Iwatani, then losing once to Saki Kashima. Wow. Writing this out, it sounds completely unlikely, but that's what I came up with, so that's what I'm sticking to. For the blue block, I'm going even more outlandish. Miyagi is winning with 12 points, she is going to win 5 matches, tie 2, and lose 1. Her wins will come from Konami, Utami, Jungle, Natsuko, and Jamie. Her ties are going to be Kagetsu and Orisa, and her loss will be coming from B herself. So, if this comes true, then I am the best ever, and you guys have to admit that. Unfortunately, not even I believe these predictions will come true, so you won't have to do that. No matter the outcome, we are going to be getting one hell of a tournament. This is their largest one yet and absolutely stacked. Usually every year, the tournament has a bunch of foreigners in there, which tends to annoy a lot of the fans since they tend to be pushed over people's favorites. This year, there are only two non-regular foreigners in the tournament and in the same block, so I don't see either of them making it to the finals. I have a feeling they will be around midway down the block by the end though. With the tournament starting on August 17th, the event is almost here. So who do you think is going to make it to the finals and then win the whole thing? <laughs>